Hey guys. Just a little busy at the moment for this game second. Zombies! No, no! Die! You. Hold on. Ugh. Fucking die. Fuck it. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, I'm here this week to talk to you a bit about video games. Um, one of my favorite pastimes, if you can't tell. Um, gets a little emotional sometimes. Um, but, uh,. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's more of a lifestyle versus a hobby, you know? It really, it's, it's beyond that. People just see it as, oh, you just spend all day playing video games, da, 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 da. but really, it's an art. And there's a lot of art in video games and, you know, the things you can actually learn from them, which is surprising. Um, there's a lot of educational video games and different types. Um, my favorite in particular would be probably Rock Band. Uh, I have literally, like not even just throwing a random number at you, like 110 songs downloaded on that game. I don't even want to calculate how much money I've spent on that, that's actually just gross. Uh, but back in the day I used to really, you know, play it a, a lot. Um, I've gone through like two or three drum sets, like three foot pedals, a broken neck on a guitar, and the whammy bar is busted, I've lost some pieces and shit. You know what? If I really want to, I can throw everybody together and get a rock band session going easy. And that is why it's just, it's a timeless game. Um, you know, obviously it means I like Guitar Hero and shit too, but I really like rock band. It's way up there for me. Um, as for like classics, old school video games, when I was young I used to play a lot of Crash Bandicoot. Like the original PlayStation ones, like the first three. No bullshit after that, except for, you know, team racing, which was great. Everything after that sucked butthole. And they didn't even, they didn't, they didn't care. They just continued to do it and broadcast it. But Crash Bandicoot got ass after the first three in team racing. Just made me cry. But I used to play a shit out of those. Um, Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda, that's another big one for me, uh, my friend. Another friend named Jaden showed me that game. Uh, you know, changed my perspective on how games, you know, are and operate. It's really amazing, amazing piece of uh, video game art there. Um, what else do I really like? Let's look at my shelf here. Shelf of games. Yeah. Fallout. It's cool. Lots of cool games out there. Um, you really gotta find your own thing though, you know? You can't let people always tell you what games to play. You gotta go find something that's you, you know, that relates to you more or less, you know? Because there's so many different types of games, you know, horror, mystery, adventure, little puzzle games and shit, and combinations of all the different ones. It's gotta be you, and it's gotta be from in here. You gotta find it. When you find it, you'll know, and if you haven't found your game yet, I hope you do one day. And you'll be like, wow, I'm happy I watched that video about that kid rambling on games who inspired me to find a new video game. Well, I'm your guy, and I'm here. I'm always here, guys. I'm always here. So I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hasta la vista, baby.